a fun and easy way to boost your lighting effect. What is up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Toast Hammer. In this episode, we are going to be exploring fire effects, which is something that I see, unfortunately, people get wrong all the time, both on the internet and elsewhere. Now, if you are a miniature painter of some experience, I would expect you to know that fire effects generally flow from sort of a white to a yellow to an orange and then to a red. I would also expect for you to know that you have spent perhaps years training that the outer surfaces, raised edges of things should be highlighted and the inner surfaces or lowered edges of things should be shaded. I want you to take all of that institutional knowledge and absolutely throw it out the window. <laughs> when we're dealing with fire, you have to think in opposite terms. The inner surfaces are going to be where the brightest and lightest colors are, and the outer edges are going to be where the darker colors are. Because fire, fundamentally, is a source of light, not something that is reflecting light. So, how do we go about approaching this practically on our miniatures? Well, right here I have a, a fire kind of basing scheme for a Pteraxi sterilizer. Um, this is a 3D print from Deadly Print Studios that I ordered from them, and I really don't like GW's flying bases, so I'm going to use these to attach my Skystalkers to their bases and have a much cooler effect with them. Now, as you can see, there's a ton of smoke pluming off of the exhausts and the flames here, which means this is a source of dirty fire. Something like blue flame is considered clean flame, and the flammable sort of chemical reaction that's happening there only exudes uh, carbon dioxide and water vapor. There is no actual unresolved carbon molecules in that chemical reaction, and thus you're not getting any smoke. That's why things like gas burners and such do not produce smoke, while something like a campfire or a torch typically does. Because this is a dirty fire effect, that means our flame is going to be yellow or like white uh, on the inside core of it. So what we're going to do is we're going to start by painting the source white and all of the cracks kind of leading out of the source for a little bit white as well. Now we do still want to create that gradation, but it's going to go pretty quick and it's not going to extend very far down. Flame can tint the smoke around it, but I think that is a very gentle effect compared to the actual source of the fire itself. So for a smoky mess like this, we actually want the most of the color here to be the brownish black smoke and just a little bit towards the top where the core of the flame is going out into these oranges and reds. So we're gonna start by filling in some of our white spots with the yellow as we go a little bit more outside and a little bit more distant from the specific fire source itself. Transferring into oranges briefly and into reds and then quickly into brown. I think this is gonna help bring out the transition from red to black without looking too artificial. This will just be a nice way to transition between these fairly desperate colors because when you just go straight red into black, you start getting into dark reds, which is not really a natural color you see around these types of situations. I think brown will just ease that transition a lot more. Now, when we're detailing the actual smoke itself, we can go back to our comfortable techniques of highlighting the raised areas and leaving the lowered areas as dark as they can be because smoke as it turns out, isn't actually a light source itself. It is something that reflects light. But the trick is, some of it is internal. So we do want kind of a light, very dusting of red towards those areas with the flame, especially in those lowered parts. But that will quickly get subsumed by the brown and the black towards the more surface. Further away from the source of the flame, when that light source is no longer there, it will be picked up by the global light source, aka 
the sun, uh, and then start reflecting back lighter grays towards the raised edges of those smoke plumes. And there you have it. A very quick, very simple way to do a fire effect for your miniatures by simply reversing what you know about how to paint miniatures. It's tempting to paint the outsides of your torch flame a lighter yellow, and I beg of you, please do not do that. That's not what fire looks like. So, but you may be asking yourself, what if I don't have a hugely smoky situation? What if I'm painting a torch on a fantasy miniature? And might I recommend that although you don't have smoke, paint a little bit of brown and black just at the tip of the top part of the flame there. And I think you'll find that it's a much more subtle and realistic effect with just that touch of smoke because it still is essentially a dirty flame. Even if the concentration of smoke isn't high, you're still gonna be getting a little bit of that carbon left over unresolved from the flaming chemical reaction that is happening to make this torch alight. But otherwise, it's essentially the same process. Start with a core of white, spread out a little bit to yellow, then to orange, then to red. Now, sometimes you don't need to go all the way to red. You can usually kind of just keep it around the orangish area. Red, I think, is a little bit more when smoke starts obscuring some of the parts of the flame. Typically, I would go from white to orange, uh, white to yellow to orange on a smaller flame situation, some, something like a torch or a candle or something like that. But that is how I paint flames and fire effects for my 40K miniatures. How do you tackle fire? Am I missing a step or is there some sort of shortcut that you know to do, get it done even quicker than this? Let me know in the comments below. And if you found this video helpful at all, please leave it a like, it always helps out the channel. If you want more painting hack tips and tricks, make sure to hit that subscribe button because we're gonna be doing a lot of painting in the future. I got a whole Gene Silly Colts army to finish. Until then, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.